Hello there, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey, and uh, today I've got another really cool little half ice drill for you. And uh, I was actually going to move on from the whole half ice theme that we've been doing, except that with our previous couple of posts with the half ice drills, we started getting a lot of really good feedback from our readers. And uh, in fact, some of our readers even sent in some of their own favorite half ice drills. And uh, that's actually where this one comes from. So this one's from uh, Petri Vaisanen, and uh, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. So uh, Petri's from, uh, he's from Finland, so I apologize if I, uh, if I got your name completely wrong there, but um, I wasn't sure how to pronounce it. But anyways, this is a really cool half ice drill, and the reason I like it so much is that there's, it, you can do it very, very basic, or you can get quite complex with it. So let me show you the basic version of it. And then as we progress through, I'll show you some uh, variations that you might want to try. Um, but what we're going to do, let's pull up the rink here, and then you can see we've got um, three defensemen in each corner. Now this works really well if you have, uh, you know, if you have six defensemen, because there is quite a bit of dis uh, quite a bit of skating here for the defensemen. So uh, you might want to try it with six. Uh, you can try it with four, but they might start getting tired. Um, so six defensemen in the corners, uh, and then you've got your lineup of forwards on each dot, with the coach in the middle with the bucks. So what's going to happen here is on the whistle, the defenseman is going to leave and skate up to the blue line and pivot. And he's going to start skating backwards. Okay. Now as this happens, um, as soon as he kind of pivots at the other side of the blue line there, coach is going to go ahead and dump a puck into the corner. Just like that. Okay. And then after he pivots backwards, then the defenseman is going to uh, again make a pivot. Once he sees the puck, once he sees that the puck's been shot in, um, pivot again, and then come into the corner and uh, pick up the puck. Now, if you've watched our uh, videos on uh, you know breakout progressions and stuff like that, then uh, you'll know I like to start all my breakouts from the quiet zone. And I call the quiet zone that little area behind the net. And basically the reason why I call it the quiet zone is because if there's ever, um, you know, really there's never going to be any attacking pressure there unless the puck's there. So most times it's a bit of a no man's land that uh, you can start your breakout from and all your options will open up from there. But uh, that's probably a topic for another video. So anyways, uh, defense will just skate the puck towards the quiet zone and then misdirect for this option. So that's what we're working on for this option is uh, start the breakout to the quiet zone and misdirect. Now as this is happening, in fact I'm going to draw this in a different color just so Hopefully it's a little bit easier to distinguish the different parts. But uh, as the defenseman is picking up the puck, now the forward is leaving. Okay, so it's a bit of a timing drill. Forward's going to come in and pivot. So he's going to swing down low and then pivot backwards so he's not taking his eye off the puck. And then he's going to receive that breakout pass. And we'll keep it in blue here just so that everything's quite clear. Okay, receives the breakout pass. Now after that defenseman makes the pass, he's done. He can go back into his corner for this variation of it. And the forward will finish up the drill by attacking the seam. So attacking across the uh, top of the circle and taking a shot in stride. And if you want more about attacking the seam, go ahead and check out our video on, uh, on the snake drill, snake shooting drill. You can take a look at that or take a look at the mohawk drill as well. And that's something you probably want to incorporate into this drill as well, using the mohawk or shooting in stride. So that's the basic vari variation of this. Now, as this is happening, obviously the next one you're going to do it from the other side. So, uh, you know, as this player is receiving his pass, coach can blow the whistle to start it again. Now this defenseman will leave and do the same thing. So that's the first variation of that. It's pretty straightforward. That's the basic uh, simplified version. Now you can get uh, you can get fairly complex with this. So let me show you. I'm going to delete all of this, and then show you um, <clears throat> a couple of the other variations that I thought were quite cool. Okay, so once you've got the basic version set up, then you can make it a little bit more complex. So one of the things that you can try is this: is uh, instead of just having one defenseman come out, have both. Okay, and I'm not going to draw all the pivots and backwards skating and everything, but basically they'll come up to the blue line, pivot again, and they'll skate backwards, right? I'm not doing the proper arrows for this, I know, but I'm just trying to kind of get through it quickly here. Um, backwards until the coach dumps it in. Coach dumps it into the corner, and then they'll go ahead and uh, this guy will go ahead, pick it up, and start moving towards the quiet zone, just like before. But now what's going to happen is the second defenseman will come in and support for a reverse. Okay, so you can come in, support for a reverse, calls for the reverse, and then uh, as you can see, this guy just basically just bumps it back. 
and the second defenseman can pick it up and initiate the breakout. Um, in this variation, the forward would still be doing the same thing, coming in low, swinging through, picking up that breakout pass, uh, which is pretty straightforward. And then uh, he'd attack the seam there. So you can try that. Um, you can also turn this into a one-on-one -on -one or a two-on-one um, drill by adding additional forwards. And um, in this case, instead of having the forwards come in and swing in and then attack the seam, then they just continue right up around the back of their line, have that defenseman close the gap, and then they play the one-on-one. -on -one. Or you can add the second forward in, have him swing through supporting as a centerman's position, uh, have them both swing out towards the back of the line, and then play it a two-on-one or even a two-on-two. -two. So you can get quite complex, be creative with the variations on this, but a uh, great little drill. You can do a lot of different things with a half ice and uh, ends up working really well. So feel free to give me any feedback or if you want to send me some of your own favorite drills, go ahead and uh, I'll put the email address here up, up at the bottom of the video and uh, always interested in hearing from you. Thank you very much.